Hi, my name is Mike. I'm with the Central Okanagan Regional District. Today we're going to take you through the Westside Wastewater Treatment Plant. The plant services the area of District of Peachland, West Bank First Nations IR-10 and IR-9, and the City of West Kelowna. The service population of the wastewater treatment plant is approximately 42,000 people and treats 10,000 cubic meters of water in a day, which is the volume of about 27 Olympic-sized swimming pools. I'm going to show you the three various stages, primary, secondary, and tertiary treatment. The first stage of the process is primary treatment. Here in the Headworks building are these two large perforated plate screens. Both these screens remove anything larger than six millimeters. Unfortunately, many products that are not designed to be flushed down the toilet are captured and removed in this area. After primary treatment, the effluent travels down through six individual bioreactors. The plant uses a three-stage Bardenfold process which utilizes natural occurring organisms in the wastewater to remove the waste from the water. By providing a very specific environment along with oxygen, these organisms will thrive and grow without the need for chemicals. Also, staff have worked to further develop the process which has now been published as the West Bank process and has been adopted and used at many treatment plants around the world. After the effluent travels through the bioreactors, it then comes down into these final clarifiers. This is just a physical process where we give the effluent a chance to settle. Anything that'll settle to the bottom of the tank is then pumped back into the bioreactors. Anything that comes to the surface is skimmed off and that goes back to the front of the plant. The clean, clear water that travels over the weir of this then goes down into tertiary treatment and is ready for filtration and UV disinfection. This is the third and final stage of the wastewater treatment process. This is tertiary treatment. In this area, we have four fabric filters. The influent travels through the filters and then onto UV disinfection. The suspended material that gets caught in that fabric is then removed and put back to the front of the plant for more treatment. The final process of the wastewater treatment plant is UV disinfection. In this area, we have two large banks of UV lights. The effluent travels past these banks and anything that's in the water, if, if the possibility of any organisms are left in the water, the UV light basically kills it or mutates the DNA and then the organism dies right away. All the odorous air that's collected throughout the wastewater treatment plant is conveyed down into this biofilter bed, which is basically just a large accumulation of bark mulch. As that odorous air travels up through the bark mulch, the bark mulch actually utilizes the sulfides within that odorous air as a food source to remove that source of odor. As the organic solids are separated from the liquid stream, they are condensed and concentrated, then dewatered to produce biosolids. The biosolids are then trucked off site to a composting facility and made into agricultural fertilizer. After the wastewater has traveled through the treatment process and all the contaminants are removed, it travels through a large pipe 250 meters out into Okanagan Lake. The goal of the wastewater treatment facility is to remove the incoming waste from the wastewater so it is then acceptable for Okanagan Lake. Ultimately, we are trying to maintain the quality of Okanagan Lake for generations to come.